As we just mentioned, Hans reporting President Obama does plan to ask Congress for billions in new spending to boost the economy and reduce unemployment. How much money is needed and what are the political stakes involved? Dr. Laura Tyson is a member of the President's Council on Jobs and the former chairwoman of the Council of Economic Advisors under President Clinton. She's currently a professor at the Haas School of Business at the University of California, Berkeley, where she joins us now. Dr. Tyson, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Dr. Tyson, as Hans Nichols just mentioned, you are in a unique position to discuss this topic. President Obama will appeal to Congress in what's reportedly going to be called a major speech on jobs in September. What does the president need to say and do to address the long-term structural problems in the labor market? Well, I think he needs to say clearly that we need we have two problems on our hands. We have an immediate jobs problem, which is severe. Uh, and we have a long-term deficit problem. We actually can afford to spend more now and give more tax relief now targeted to job creation. And we should do that in the context of, uh, of a plan, a long-term deficit reduction plan. That sounds exactly like what he's going to ask for. So he's going to say, let's spend some more now, but let's uh, do some more deficit reduction now for the future so that at the end of the day, what we spend now or give in tax relief now, we make up later for, uh, so as not to make the deficit worse. Dr. Tyson, how much money is needed to jumpstart the economy and reduce unemployment? And with an opposition that says the problem with the federal government is that it spends too much, will the president's request be dead on arrival on Capitol Hill? Well, I want to start out by saying that there are many, many uh, Republicans, many, many uh, voters, most voters, and many, many economists who basically agree that right now we need some additional support for job creation. The economy is simply not growing fast enough to bring the unemployment rate down. But, Dr. And Tyson, if I, if I <coughs> might, the political reality, especially yes. even during the debt ceiling well, de debate, was that there is a lot of opposition to anything okay. coming out of the White House, specifically more fending, uh, spending. And and um, tax increases. I understand that, and I think that the president will make the case, which will have resonance with the American people, that we need more support for job creation now. Yes, there are people in Congress whose major goal is to defeat the president in 2012, and they don't care what they do to the economy, and uh, they are going to have a very difficult time, if, if their recent history is any guide, in compromise. But we need to look for the middle ground. We need to look for the members of Congress on the Republican and Democratic side who recognize the real problems in the economy. Now, what do we need to do? I mean, the president's uh, announcement today indicated he's going to be asking for things that have had bipartisan support in the past. These are not radical things. Uh, extensions of unemployment compensation, extensions of payroll tax relief, thinking about the possibility of some payroll tax relief for employers as well as employees to bring down the cost of new hires, yep. infrastructure spending. There's huge bipartisan and labor management, big business, small business support for that. So we should be able to get a political compromise. Well, but will those ideas actually help jumpstart the economy? Will it lead to more growth and to <clears throat> consumers opening up their wallets and spending more? Uh, yeah, yes, I, I, really, I really believe it will. If you think about the unemployment compensation or the payroll tax relief part of this, this is about helping people maintain income levels which allow them to consume. And so it is a direct boost to consumption. Any kind of payroll tax relief for employers is a direct boost to hiring because it's reducing the cost of bringing on a worker. Infrastructure investment has been shown time and time again to have a high multiplier effect, big bang for the buck. Yeah. And the president has been working with the Jobs Council identifying a lot of projects that have priority and a lot of the regulatory barriers that we can uh, move through to get those projects started. So there's a lot of work going on to make sure that as we move forward with an infrastructure investment program, yeah. we know the projects and we can get it done expeditiously. Dr. Tyson, if I might, a political question. Why wait until mm -hmm. September to make this announcement? The economy is having problems now. Should the president have called Congress back into session away from summer holiday and said, let's get to work on this now? <laughs> I, I honestly don't think so. I think that uh, the, the confrontation over the debt was undermining of consumer 
and business confidence. I think it is entirely appropriate that people leave town for a while, yeah. assess where they are, and come back with a set of plans. So I think as far yes. as uh, this was the right thing to do. <laughs> uh, Dr. Tyson, in about 30 seconds, do you want Austin Goolsby's job? Do you want to be, once again, the <laughs> chair of the Council you of know, Economic I, I, Advisors? I, and are you being I, I, vetted? <laughs> I've, I've had Aston Goolsby's job, Ed. It was great. <laughs> uh, I am working with the President's Council on Jobs and Competitiveness. And, and I, I guess I want to end by saying, you know, there are a number of business leaders around the country that are really working hard on the jobs issue, looking at infrastructure, looking at energy efficiency, looking at training workers, looking at training, looking at bringing back some of their offshore jobs into the United States. Right. There is a lot going on, and I'm honored to work with that council. They're doing a lot of good work. So as far as CA chair, been there, done that for you? <laughs> I, I like the advisory role I'm playing now. Thank you very much. All right, Dr. Laura Tyson joining us from Cal Berkeley. Dr. Tyson, always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mark.